We are two international students in Romania. And since we finished the fourth year of our med studies here in Bucharest, it is finally time to explore the rest of this amazing country. We've rented a camper bus which should become our home for the following two weeks, packed all our camera gear to take you guys with us on the road. So join us in this third episode to visit and explore the wilds of Maramures. Oh yeah, and by the way, we are Forza and David, but together we are known as Romania. So good morning guys, we are somewhere in Maramures. It is raining and it's gonna rain the next days. Nevertheless, we decided to just sleep longer today as the weather was, isn't that good. We were so tired yesterday after we arrived here. So we're gonna make some breakfast. Here's a huge national park and maybe, who knows, we can get above the clouds. That will be insane. Lovely. You can see it's smoking up there. It is beautiful, but yeah. We need to get started on some breakfast, don't we? Yes. How long do these take to charge? Not that long. Two days. Have a look. Wait, wait, we're just gonna try. <laughs> clean this man. I forgot to buy a sponge. This is so stupid, man. No, but the thing is, is that I, I would have thought the sponge would be here. Sponge? Yeah. I thought maybe we had we bought one before. What do we use now? Give me the yeah. Give me the roll. <coughs> the water. Look here. I'm now making us breakfast sausages, scrambled eggs. Some tomatoes. The one thing for me is I'm surprised how much they can fit in such a small van. Like I remember telling you before when you were showing me um, whenever we'd walk past, yeah. you were like, "Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna look exactly like that, or exactly like that one." I was like, "There's no way. How can you fit like a whole little kitchen?" Of course, I knew it wasn't gonna be a full kitchen, but how can you fit a little kitchen and a bed on top and below? Like, I mean, they conserved the space so well. It doesn't feel like like I'm really camping though. Like I, I look outside and there's nothing here, and it's surprising how you can sleep with nothing here. But it does feel very comfortable, like yeah. incredibly comfortable. Yeah, true. Just open it, everything is black. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. I could eat like five of these. I was never properly awake till 12. I was awake, but then I just kept giving myself excuses. What do you mean? I'd look down and I'll see you sleeping. I'd be like, yeah. This guy has to sleep. Drive. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I was awake. I woke up so many times. I woke up at my alarm. As well. The alarm was eight. I woke up. I know. And your alarm was on as well. I was like, do I go down and try to turn it off? <laughs> and bro, your alarm goes on forever, bro. I don't know how you can't. You never hear your alarm. <laughs> what is? How do you even go to school? How do you? <laughs> how do you survive? How do you survive? <laughs> you never ever hear your alarm. How does that even work? Like, <laughs> right, I don't know. Uh, yeah, really. So you just you wake up by yourself then? Or it takes time, but then I wake up. <laughs> no, I don't get it. Do, do you place alarms? Do you even place alarm? Five in a row, six. And I have to the ring, the ring. You want to study medicine or dentistry, but you can't get a place in your home country? There's a simple way to solve this problem. Loads of people just start studying in Romania and so did we. You can either after two years switch back to a university in your home country or even finish your studies here and practice in the whole of Europe. If that is something you are interested in, you can just book a free consultation call on our website. 
We'll answer all your questions and help you to get a place in this amazing country. We get ready, we get our clothes on, and we drive to Parco Natural Munti, I think it's called. And then we see if we can go on a hike. Uh, see what we can do over there. It's a natural park, so there should be some stuff, some cool stuff. Maybe some cool animals we can see. Bears or something from, from like one meter distance. Yeah, that would be nice. We could <laughs> shake hands with a, a bear or, or... Yeah, that would be super nice. You know, yeah. <laughs> a steam train. Camper, it's a real camper. That's what they say. <laughs> Maybe the train takes people to the park. Maybe. Bro, this is sick. Salute! No, I'm like excited. <laughs> <laughs> so we kept seeing people going up and down and up and down with the train um, and we know that this train is called the Mokinita or Mokinata or something like that um, when doing my research I found out that this is actually the oldest steam train in the whole of Europe I think actually that it's still running um, so we asked around and unfortunately because we woke up so late we're not able to ride the train today but we're still gonna try to at least drive up the, like alongside the tracks and see uh, whether we can maybe enter or at least see the view from what the other people are seeing whilst they were on the train. Yeah, the roads are a little bit treacherous though. Hopefully it gets smoother or we'll be able to ride all the way up there. The flowing beneath us. Oh my gosh. Super awesome. I'm not really a, a wild kind of person, so I've never really been in the wild that much. And I mean, just being here looks crazy. So, so crazy, man. Honestly. Okie dokie. Back in the car. And on our way, we are losing time, so we want to be as quick as possible. Where's this one? Let's see. Their main job is like farming and stuff yeah. like that, isn't it? They just live off the land. Provide them for themselves and and uh, and sell stuff. Yeah. Or switch, uh, swap it. Who makes the goat? See. Just met Cristiano and Aldo. Yeah, guys, this road takes forever. It's crazy because we can't drive faster. Navigation set 25 minutes. We're driving for how long now? Half an hour? 40 minutes? Yeah. I think I never had been that deep into nature with a car in my life. This is what people use to get around. Some people working. Salud! Ha! This is one guy, one guy was saying hello and the other guy. The other guy had his hand on his head like, no way! Hey mister! Oh, he stole some bread. <laughs> Bro. Bro, imagine we, we were just saying like, Hurry, hurry, we have to catch like the last train. <laughs> Bro, I only, honestly, I, I went in, I was like, yeah, how much for a student? She was like, um, yeah, 45 lei, I think she said. I was like, perfect. Can I get two tickets? She's like, yeah, for tomorrow? I was like, no, for today. She's like, she just started laughing. She was like, smiling, like, no, 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 no. Today it was at 10 in the morning. It's like, what? We're looking at the people just looking at us like, what the? They're just staring from a distance. I think it's the car as well. You can tell immediately that we're just not from here. The map says here is a natural park, but I don't know how do we get. Huh? 
I think we can turn around. We are just in the middle of no man's land. There is nothing, no street. Just we went all this in. I'm just gonna turn this car. Are you working on something? Uh, yeah, yeah, for YouTube. The name is Romaniac. Okay. What's the mean? You too. You too. Bye bye. 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 Okay, so these guys were so kind to tell us that we are actually already in the middle of the national park but it's so hard to get to the outside on the mountain. I mean we saw loads and loads of cool things on the way, loads of animals, met nice, a lot of nice people. Um, so how people actually live in, in places like in the middle of like a, is like in the middle of the woods. Um, so yeah, loads of really cool stuff and we also took some nice pictures at the, the little bridge that we saw. So if you want to see the pictures that we took, go over to our Instagram. It is at row underscore maniac. Go have a look at all the pictures and all the stuff from this whole trip over there. Good being here. I'm actually so thankful that we yeah, finally had a chance or have the chance to go to the countryside, speak to the people. Yeah, because we still always live kind of in a bubble in Bucharest. We are foreigners um, and we have kind of a different life there. Well, how, do they, how do they get there? <laughs> That's my question. I don't. A few minutes later. Okay, now we know how they go on the other side. We are finally back onto normal roads. So, we're in what it looks like the city center or the village center of this place. Yeah, we saw a shop called Happy Family. Let's see what we can, uh, we can maybe buy. I mean, everybody sponge. can just get whatever they need from here, I guess. Okay, we need sponge. Oh, let's get a sponge, yeah. That's all lovely. Oh, look like a Sultan Prince. <laughs> Where the sponges? And what's crazy is that the shopkeeper is actually Asian. She's from China, I believe. We're in the middle of a really weird city, and she's from like another country. Diversity. Oh, they don't have sponges. Nope. Move on to the next place, I guess. Anyway, it's raining. It seems I was wrong in thinking that the other place was the city center. He's off doing his own stuff. This is the real village center. I've spotted a shop, which is a supermarket, and I'm gonna see if uh, I can actually get some sponges in here. What a huge supermarket. Oh, they have so much stuff. What is your? I'm the boy that you are. No, 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 no. Casserola? Da, casserola. Da, am, am nevoie de ceva curat, casserola. Asta, 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 asta. Am nevoie de asta. Ah, ca să faci curat. Exact. Deci pentru spălat. Da. Cum, cum se spune? Uh, burete. Burete? Da, asta ce -i? Asta sunt uh, vlogări. Vlogger. Spui ce doci? Uh, cum si, asa. Cum si, cum si. Si imi place, cum si, cum sa. Exact. Met a new friend. Yo. Da. Tu filmezi? Da. Acum? Acum. Și unde transmiți? Pe YouTube. Pe YouTube. Oh! Oh! Te salut! Mulțumesc! 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 Got the sponges. Also met a lovely lady in there. She was super, super, duper nice. Me here, finally, David making some coffee. Anyway, make some coffee, stop off here, and then uh, figure out where we go to next. We are right now still in the same village. Our plan is now to go and drive one and a half hours. From there we do tomorrow, when the weather will be good, a nice hike to a lake. 
and then on top of a mountain we're gonna do that so today we yeah just gonna drive there do some social media work do some uh, editing yeah and then have the craziest barbecue yeah because we are so hungry we always yeah. said next next time next time yeah but it is time to yeah fill up the batteries yes and then we're going inside here Oh guys, we are right now driving up the mountains. Um, like you can see also navigation, it's going left, right, left, right, left, right, and it's the microphone. Yeah, and we will sleep up there and from there our tour will start tomorrow. The weather should be better, that's what we saw the last time we had a look. And yeah, meanwhile we're just gonna hunt down this Pazarati now. like we're currently at the destination that we wanted to be at. Uh, I mean that's where we're gonna do our hike tomorrow but I kind of don't know if we want to sleep there. Bro, that's a bit scary, you know? What do we do with a fucking bear just standing in front of us? Yeah, that'll be... Bro, fucking... Oh, we shit my pants directly. Okay, change of plans. The route was looking a bit... Uh, a bit, a bit scary to say the least so we and we don't want to sleep in the wood directly yeah. that's stupid no I so mean, we have food a lot of meat in here like i mean like our fridge our, is full and ourselves ourselves yeah that too yeah there's someone you know because this team is not so we ask him. yeah where's the best place to stay for the night salut 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 uh, so we found actually the street that we will walk tomorrow the only question is are we where can we park then we are further on the way forza took over yeah, yeah we're just gonna drive up the mountain and we're gonna sleep there then so yeah gonna cook like we said today we are just having a crazy meal we bought so much good stuff because we are super, super, super hungry. Yeah. We just ate breakfast and then we just ate some random snacks on the way, I see. Yeah. We are almost there. Up there we're gonna sleep. We're gonna build up our camp and hope, hope, hopefully we're gonna wake up with beautiful weather. Here's east, the sun will rise there and I think we found something. It's a bit, we don't know what to expect after the clouds are gone tomorrow, but hopefully that's where we're gonna stay this evening. Have a look, man, it's crazy. It's just in the middle of the nature. We are just right in the middle of the Romanian mountains of the Carpathians. Crazy. And we can stay here and sleep in a tent. We'll make a fire and shit. Crazy. Nice. I'm excited. We are in the water! 
Caio! Gonna do a little freestyle. Yo, yeah, it is Mount Rodney. We're in the middle of nowhere. Look, I pack in a soul bear. Yeah, yeah, I eat apples, I eat oranges. Look, I'm a sherry guy, I like pears and oranges. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What is he talking about? <laughs> Well, where's the fucking tripod? It's not here. Are you sure? Bro, you can barely see anything. That's here. Oh. We just had our live stream on Instagram. We just ate dinner. It was a blast. For the first time, we made like proper kebab. We are still standing on this mountain and we are so excited for tomorrow when we're gonna have a view. We're gonna have sun, we're gonna go for a hike, so don't miss out on the next episode. We hope you guys enjoyed it, so give it a like. Also subscribe if you don't want to miss out on other videos from now on, or our content gonna be even crazier than before. We are so thankful for your support. Let's go to 10K. See you guys next time. Laravidere and ciao.